you know, you, you mentioned Mr. Watts, the matter is cleared up. It's not cleared up. That's why we are talking about this. You see, an FIR is already instituted. The, uh, they have taken a statement of the girls. All this is on record, which cannot be wiped out. So things will have to take All it. Right. You know, the problem in India is that justice is very deli delayed in many matters. Uh, that's not an excuse. But let me go yeah. across to, to I know it's not an excuse, no. but this is a reality. No. <laughs> let me tell you one thing. Sorry. We don't champion sorry, that reality. Vishnu, so, I think Meera, we've seen that when the government, I think we've seen that when the government uh, has an interest in the case, justice is never delayed. Justice or injustice, whatever you choose to call it. The point is that when the government of any state puts its mind to it, and makes up its mind that a case is going to be prosecuted and it is, it is going to be done quickly, it is done quickly. Okay, so it is all very well to say that justice will be done. The question is when, because we know the justice delayed is yes. justice denied. You know, there's one, one more thing I, I want soon. to say. Uh, there half is a one second, more Mr. thing I would like to yeah. say. Mr. Watts, I, I didn't interrupt you. There is, yeah, uh, you know, as a society, we tend to, we, we outrage so much uh, when there are certain types of sexual offenses, uh, and I say certain types, you know, uh, you know, when and it really does depend on the identity of the victim, the identity of the accused, that seems to have a huge role. And I think what we need to keep in mind that se is that sexual offenses are really crimes of power more than anything else. And if we are serious in our outrage against sexual offenses, we need to start questioning those in power more often. It cannot always be outraging over cases where sexual offenses have been con committed by, you know, people from oppressed, marginalized, downtrodden communities, you know, street crime, which we know is a relatively low percentage um, of sexual offenses, stranger crime. When we know that the bulk of offenses are committed by people we know, people who are known to the victims, people in a position of power over the victims, sure. unless we are willing to question power and to interrogate those in power, whether that is political power, whether that is religious power, people who are in positions of power, we can never be serious sure. in our outrage uh, that, you know, periodically crops up when it comes to sexual offenses.